Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Big Batch video. Today we are doing some marinated chicken three different ways. We're gonna do a Southwest, a Greek, and a balsamic lemon garlic kind of thing. So it's gonna be awesome. We have chicken thighs and I have three packages. They're all about two pounds. Chicken thighs are a great alternative to chicken breast because they are less expensive and they're really very forgiving on the grill or in any cooking method. It's really difficult to dry them out. So it's perfect if you're a beginner and you wanted an easy recipe that is full of flavor and is incredibly versatile. This chicken can go on a salad, in a wrap, on a sandwich. You could even cut up and put it in enchiladas add it to your breakfast, whatever you wanna do, there's endless possibilities of this. So I hope you guys enjoy this Big Batch video. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned in to all the new content I put up on my channel. Okay, so like I said, we were gonna start with some chicken thighs. We have three packages. These are each about two pounds of chicken thighs. Some are a little bit over, some are just a little bit under. But like I said, they're incredibly budget friendly. So that's why we're gonna go with this method. I went ahead and pulled out three of these large Pyrex pans here. These are gonna be really helpful for um, putting the chicken to marinate in and being able to stack them in the fridge. These two both have lids. And then I'll put this one on top and cover it with some aluminum foil or some like plastic wrap or something like that. So this is gonna be where we're gonna set our chicken to marinate. When you marinate this chicken, you should put them in here for at least eight hours. So here's some of the dry seasonings we have. This is for the Southwest, this is for the Greek, and this is for our balsamic lemon. I also have some fresh chopped herbs here. So I have some parsley, some cilantro, I have some shallots, some garlic, and then these are preserved lemons. If you do not have preserved lemons, you could go ahead and just use the zest of one lemon. This is gonna be for our balsamic lemon. All of these recipes are gonna be linked in the description down below, so don't feel like you have to write anything down right now. Additionally, I have a whisk, a measuring cup, some balsamic vinegar, some lime juice. My grocery store sells lime juice like this, so I love to pick this up anytime I can. Um, it's great for making cocktails with it, but also easy for these recipes like this. My secret ingredient of the day is the artichoke hearts that are quartered and halved in marinated oil um, from Costco. So what I do is I basically save all of this brine and I leave it in my fridge until I'm ready to make a big batch of marinated chicken. If you do not have some brine like this, you will substitute for each two pounds of chicken. You'll use about a half of a cup of oil. Um, any type of oil, an olive oil works really well though. Or, and then a half a cup of olive oil, and then you'll do like a half a cup of any sort of broth. So chicken, vegetable, um, you could even do beef, but chicken or vegetable would be probably best in this. So this is gonna make up the liquid for our wet marinades. And here's the dry seasonings and the other ingredients, and let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the simplest one, and that's gonna be the Southwest. So this is our Southwest blend, and like I said, this will be in the description box below for a link to this recipe. If you don't wanna make this by scratch, you could simply use taco seasoning and then add the other ingredients in. Super simple, you could just grab a packet of taco seasoning and then put it into your container. To jazz it up though, we're going to add some cilantro, so fresh cilantro that I've chopped. It's about a quarter of a cup, so not a huge amount, but enough to give it that zing that we want. I'm also gonna add a couple cloves of garlic to this. And then we're going to add our liquid. So for this liquid, for this one, we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of the lime juice. And then I'm going to add about a cup of the mixture that includes the, uh, the brine. So again, if you don't have a brine like this left over, you would use about a half of a cup of oil and then a half of a cup of any sort of broth that you wanted to use. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in and whisk this up. This is gonna be a really flavorful, kind of almost like a taco meat. You could even cut this up and use it for chicken fajitas if you wanted to. And there are little pieces of the artichoke in here, but I don't really worry about that because that's not gonna end up on your grilled chicken. It's gonna fall off. And even if it does, who doesn't like a little bit of artichoke? Now I'm gonna add the chicken and we are just gonna go ahead and use our hands here and make this super simple so that we don't have to um, get out or dirty any other sort of um, utensil in the kitchen. 
All right, so once you get your chicken thighs out, you're gonna wanna make sure that you turn them over and really spread them out to make sure that you're getting the maximum coverage when you dip them in. I like to dip them in, spin them around a little bit, flip them over, and then push it to the side. And then repeat with the rest of them. Pulling them apart, making sure you're getting great coverage, and then putting them to the side. The way that I typically do this is I like to set my chicken to marinate maybe the night before I'm going to make them, grill them actually, and then the next morning when I get up, maybe before you go to work, you just open up the container and kind of take some tongs, or you can just wash your hands and use your hands if you wanted to, and then flip each one of them over and kind of move them around again in the marinade. That to me just makes me feel like I'm doing that little bit of extra work to make sure that my chicken is evenly marinated. Okay, the next blend we're gonna do is going to be our Greek blend. So I'm gonna start off again with my dry seasonings in here. Then I'm going to add, again, about a quarter cup of parsley, a quarter cup of fresh herbs, really. And then I have two shallots that are cut up over here. I'm gonna use one of them for the Greek blend and the other one for our balsamic. And then a little bit of garlic again. A lot of people might wanna use lemon juice with this and that is perfectly fine if you want to. I prefer to use the lime because I typically have it in my fridge and it's really easy for you to just quickly pull out. I don't have to worry about having a, two different types of juice in the fridge or not having enough of what I need. Pour that over the top again. And don't forget to wash your whisk and your hands in between each blend if you really care about that. For me, it doesn't really matter if the blends get mixed up a little bit. It'll be fine. We will still eat it. Another thing you have to remember is that with these marinades, because we are utilizing quite a bit of citrus in here, whether it be lime juice or the preserved lemons, that's really going to start to break down the meat, the muscle and the, and the muscle in the chicken. So you cannot keep this marinating for longer than I would say two days at the max. If you do it longer than that, your chicken really starts to decompose and there's kind of a sweet spot between getting it tender and it being too decomposed for you to not even be able to grill it up and make it delicious. With our last blend here, our dry ingredients are basically just salt and pepper. Everything else is going to be a fresh ingredient or a liquid. So we have our salt and pepper. We're gonna add parsley into here. This one is a little bit more complex than the other ones. Um, this one, there's really not a huge substitute for it. Like with the Southwest one, you could just do a packet of taco seasoning and then add the liquids and the fresh herbs if you wanted. And with the Greek blend, you could really just grab a bottle of Greek marinade um, or dressing and then put that in there as well. But with this one, a little bit more of a labor of love. Again, this is the preserved lemon like I talked about. If you don't have this, you could just use lemon zest. And this does have extra salt in the preserved lemon, so you'd have to adjust your salt for that. But if you go to the link in my description, you'll have the substitutions there for you to see. Then we're gonna add in the liquid. With this one, we, we're using the balsamic in lieu of the um, lime juice. So we have a cup of the brine and then a quarter cup of balsamic instead of a quarter cup of lime juice. We're just gonna mix this up and make sure that all those lemon pieces get distributed. If you like balsamic dressing, this is definitely gonna be the one you wanna go with. It's um, really delicious. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna grill these up and then just get a big old pile of romaine lettuce, pick out whatever um, chicken we wanna have on our salads and then pick out our dressing from the fridge. We always have extra dressings in the fridge, so there's never like a question about it. If we wanna make a salad, we have the ingredients quickly. We have some tomatoes in the fridge. We have several different types of cheeses. And what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna use this balsamic chicken one and then make kind of like a Caesar salad with like a specialty like balsamic chicken on top of it. And you could do this with chicken breast if you wanted to. I would recommend that if you do have chicken breast, you give it more than eight hours to actually marinate. I would say you should do that at least for 24 hours. 
because it is a little bit um, harder to penetrate the chicken breast if like the chicken thighs like accept the seasoning better. All right, these are ready to go in the fridge. We have our Southwest Greek and balsamic. And then tomorrow after about 24 hours, we will grill these and eat them throughout the week. If you don't wanna grill them, you could surely just cook them in a skillet with a little bit of oil or butter and sear them on both sides and get them nice and crispy and that would work just as well. Okay, so I really wanted to show you guys what it looked like when we were grilling the chicken. Unfortunately, it was raining the whole time, and of course, we're in Houston, so it's very humid. As soon as I walked out, my camera got incredibly blurry, but these are the finished products. This is the Southwest chicken. You can see it has a little bit of a red tinge. That's going to be that chili powder in it. And my husband and I really like to have them a little crispy on the ends. I love to have a little crunch in them. This goes great on top of a salad. Um, these turned out excellently. This one is going to be the Greek marinade. You can see it has a lot of fresh herbs on it and it is extra juicy and delicious. This is a perfect recipe for the summer. Such an easy thing to just grill up a bunch of chicken and then put it in the fridge and use throughout the week for easy and quick meals. This one is gonna be our last but not least, the lemon balsamic chicken. This one is one of my favorites. I love the balsamic flavor. And I think this goes well with almost any sort of side or on top of any sort of salad. It is incredibly versatile and I just really love to make these chicken thighs. Thanks again for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments below, which one of these marinades are you most likely to try or are you most excited to try? And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for another big batch and I hope you guys have a great day.